we're going to keep talking about descriptive statistics. And so, as we learn, descriptive statistics are ways of organizing, summarizing, and presenting data. So in the last uh, set of videos, we talked about how you could organize a data set by making tables and graphs and things like that. So now we're going to learn how to calculate numbers that describe our data set in some way. And these numbers are uh, sometimes referred to as descriptive measures. And the first type of descriptive measure we're going to talk about are, are called measures of center. So that name makes you think of a number that describes the center of the data set. Um, that's not always the case. Sometimes the, the measures of center are numbers that describe the center of the data set, but sometimes they're not. So I think a better way of thinking about measures of center is if you had a big set of data and you had to use a single number to represent that data set, what number would you choose? And I think most people would probably choose um, the average, right? You would add up all the values together, divide by the number of values, and you get the average value. Okay, so that's going to be our first measure of center, and that's known as the mean. So the mean is the average value of the data set. Okay, so there's also the median, and the median is actually the middle value of the data set. Okay, so it's the value that lies halfway. Uh, it's, it's a value that you have half of the data below that value, half of the data above that value. So that actually is, in a sense, the center of the data set. Okay, and then we have the, the mode. And the mode is the value that occurs the most. So some value that occurs more than any other value in the data set. Um, and then the book adds a fourth one that's not as common. Mean, median, mode, those are very common. But there's a fourth one called the mid-range. And the mid-range is actually, um, I'll give you the formula here. The mid-range, we'll use MR for mid-range, it's actually the minimum value plus the maximum value divided by 2. And the idea here is if this is your data set and this is the minimum value, and up here is the maximum value, then the mid-range divides that range in half. That's the mid-range. So you're averaging the minimum and maximum value. And whenever you average two numbers, you get the number halfway between them. Okay, so the mean, median, mode, and mid-range. So let's take a look at each one of these. And we'll, we'll use, um, we'll do this a couple times here. So maybe our first data set, we'll use this. 3, 1, 7, 15, 3, 17, and 10. So the mean here is the average value. And I'm going to use this notation for right now. We'll talk a little bit more about the notation later. But this is actually x bar. It's x with a bar over it. And they actually call it x bar. And this stands for the, the sample mean. So it would be the mean of a sample. Okay, and the mean of the sample is just you're going to take and add up the values in the sample and divide by n. And this is the sum notation. This is sigma, and it means add. And x is like sample x, so add the values in the sample. n is the number of values in the sample. So I have some videos about the statistical sums. and. I go into more detail about that. But that would actually be a formula for the mean. And it is 3 plus 1 plus 7 plus 15 plus 3 plus 17 plus 10, all divided by 7 because there's 7 values in the data set. And so grab my calculator here. 
which I'm going to add these values. So 3 plus 1 plus 7 plus 15 plus 3 plus 17 plus 10. Looks like I get 56 divided by 7, and that comes out real nice, so I get 8. Okay, so that is the mean or the average value of the data set. Okay, so now the median here, what you have to do is you have to put the data in order first. So from least to greatest, so 1, and then I got two threes. And then I got a 7, and then a 10, a 15, and then a 17. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, so I put the data in order, and now the median, all that is, is it's the middle value in the data set. So in this case, 7 is in the middle. So I'm going to use MD to stand for the median, and in this case, it's just 7. Okay, it'll be the value that lies in the middle. Okay, so you might be thinking, um, in this case, I had an odd number of values to begin with. So when I split the data in half, I had one left over to be in the middle. So you might be wondering, what if I had an even number of values? And we'll look at that in a second, but what when you have an even number of values, you split the data in half, you got two halves, nothing to be in the middle. It's actually the average of the two middle values, and we'll see that in our next example. Okay, so either the middle value or the average of the two middle values. So that's the median. In this case, the mode is just the value that occurs the most, and in this case, it is 3. I always like the mode because there's no math to do. You just got to find out which one occurs the most. And the mid-range, this is just the minimum plus the maximum divided by 2. So you're averaging these two. And that actually gives you the value directly in the middle. In this case, it's actually equal to 9. And so that is the mid-range. So the mean, median, mode, mid-range. So let's uh, do this one more time with another data set. So this time we'll do uh, 3, 1, 8, 11, 1, 8. Okay, so the mean, I'll use x bar to denote that. I'm going to add up the values. And I'm going to divide by, in this case, 6 because there's six observations. So 3 plus 1 plus 8 plus 11 plus 1 plus 8. And I get 32 divided by 6. I'm going to do that in my calculator. And you see I get a repeating decimal. Now, if you get a repeating decimal, in the next video, we're gonna, I'm going to introduce to you a rounding rule that we're going to use throughout the class. Um, so for now, I'm just going to round to the tenths place. So I'm going to round this to 5.3, so approximately 5.3. Okay, And whenever these are whole numbers, you'll always end up rounding to the tenths place. So... Uh, in the next video, we'll talk about that rounding rule. Um, but for now, that's good. That's the mean. Now, the median is the middle value. And again, it's very important that you put the data in order, okay? Because if it's not in order, any value technically could be in the middle. You just shuffle them around, right? So you got to put it in least to greatest. So I have a 1 and a 1. And then I have a 3. And then I have an 8 and an 8. And then I have an 11. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There's my six values. And so again, in this case, there's an even number of values in the data set. So I split it in half. I get 3 and 3. And there's no value in the middle to be the, the median. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take those two middle values. 
okay? And I'm going to average those two. And what that does is it gives me the value halfway between those two. So in this case, 11 divided by 2, and that's 5.5. And that is the median. And it's halfway between the two middle values. The mode is the value that occurs the most. And in this case, you actually have 1 and 8 occurring more than the other values in the data set. And so you actually, in this case, have two modes. 1 and 8 are both modes. So you can have more than one mode. Um, also, if they all occur just once, then uh, th you would just say that there's no mode. So um, finally, the mid-range, you're going to find the average between the minimum and maximum values to find the number halfway between the two. So this is 12 divided by 2, and that's equal to 6. Okay, so again, the mean, the median, the mode, and the mid-range. So that is the mean, median, mode, and mid-range. In the next video, I'm going to talk about the rounding rule and some notation and a few other things about the mean, median, mode, and mid-range.